Hello and welcome back, or welcome to my channel if you are a new viewer. Subscribe. If you've seen my other videos, you may have seen the best way, in my opinion, early game to knock out thralls, or even late game. Actually, all the time, unless they're low level thralls, then that, it, it's debatable on super low health thralls. I haven't tested it fully. But even without an authority build, this is one of the best ways to get thralls. And I thought I'd show you all today. So, make sure you have daggers unlocked, go to inventory, grab some daggers. No, I'm not wearing my gloves. Now that your daggers are made, you want to get an advanced blunt and weapon, bleh, advanced blunt and weapon fitting. That is hard to say. Hard and steel kit. You can make them at level 51. And you can also find them quite regularly in boxes around Seppu Maru and some of those other random boxes along New Beach that um, have the steel in them and stuff. And of course, from Mound Town, Mounds of the Dead, killing them, finding them in boxes over there. So they are quite readily available without having to be level 51. If you're on PvP, that's very likely you're able to steal one or someone. Now you've got your kit, put it on your daggers like so. I don't have a desire to particularly get a thrall right now because all my thrall wheels are super full. But if you have been struggling and you haven't been lucky enough to get, say, like, the Seth Struncheon like I did first go. Went in there just on a random whim. Got it. That was cool. I um still will be using these. Okay, so we've got a cook one. Lock onto him, just make it a little bit easier because he's on the guy around. Just like that. Like I said, not for everyone, but in my opinion, one of the better ways to knock out thralls, especially if there are a lot of them around because the slicey dicey move. You don't want to put too much bleed on lower health ones, so doing the up. Doing the R1 dagger move is also good and it can stun lock them a lot. Give it a go, try it out with some different builds as well. Like I said, it's not required to have an authority build, which also makes it quite handy. I don't 100% trust it on thralls because you can't tell them not to use heavy attack, but you can also put it on your thrall. I just put my Cess Truncheon on it because then that is more reliable with that anyway. And a good way to um, get through a lot of places is just knock out everything there and then pick off what you do want, put it in your wheel and kill everything else, like places like the volcano or Mounds of the Dead, where it's a lot easier to knock people out rather than kill them. Yeah, if you found this little quick tip guide helpful, please do like and subscribe. It's free. It takes a second. It means a bunch. I'm trying to get to 500 people before the end of the month. It would be super cool. And do keep an eye out for more of these quick how-to guides with farming and dungeons and all sorts coming up soon. Until then, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, morning, good, good night, good night. Have a good one. Bye.